So to those who are a moment of silence is good enough because you don't have the courage to take a vote to protect the children, I would say your political survival is totally insignificant to the survival of our, compared to the survival of our children. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to come together with strong I vote on all of the provisions in the bill for the final package. And to do so as part of a crusade of, by, and for the children, I urge an I vote on the Protect Our Kids legislation and yield back the balance of my time. Speaker Pelosi tells us she's on a crusade for the children. Someone should maybe remind the speaker the crusades did not always end well when they were reflexively driven by emotion and riddled with poor planning. No, this is no crusade for the children. If it were, you wouldn't leave our children as sitting ducks in gun-free zones when they go to school every day. Speaker says we need action. Well, we're for action. How about the action of my bill to create a national stand your ground law to strengthen self-defense or Richard Hudson's bill for national concealed carry or any number of proposals Republicans have offered to unlock the safe and secure environment when we have our military veterans and our former members of law enforcement able to carry a firearm responsibly in schools to be able to respond to these acts of violence. On this vote, the yeas are 223. The nays are 204. The bill is passed.